Hi everybody, welcome to another Art with Carol. Today I thought that we could do some little ornaments that would be good for a holiday, for maybe a Christmas tree, or you could um, hang them around the house to catch the light. They're a little bit metallic and they're kind of 3D. Can you see how that's 3D? So we're gonna make these today. To do that, you're going to need some scrap cardboard. I'm using just an old cracker box. And you need some tin foil. And some string. And if you have a glue stick, then a glue stick is perfect. I don't have a glue stick here at home, so I'm gonna use tape. Glue stick would be much, much nicer. And you'll see as we go along why. You need scissors. Then I need two round things that I am going to trace around. And one should be smaller than the other. So see, I have this glass top that I'm gonna use and I've got this bowl. So I'm going to be tracing around those. Um, I think that's everything. Then you're going to want to have something to color your objects with if you want to. So you can get um, either markers or paints or if you just have a black Sharpie, you could just do some outlining if you want to. Or you can just leave it with no colors on it and it's really pretty, um, just to be a pretty metallic ornament that's gonna catch the light. So stop the video, go get everything you need, and then we'll begin. All right, so we are back here. Now, what I have done is I have traced around a my piece of cardboard like so with the glass the smaller circle just trace around that and then you're going to cut it out so i already have one cut out but i want to show you when you're cutting out you know i'm cutting out with this great big piece of cardboard and it's pretty hard because you have to maneuver the whole thing so what i do first is i just cut it down so that it's a much smaller piece to work on then we're just going to cut out our circle. Like so. And you only have to trace it with a pencil. You didn't, I used this marker just so that you'd be able to see it really good because sometimes it's hard to see um, in the video. All right. Now, the next thing is I'm going to, this is a nice um, plain side. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just gonna use this side because it's gonna be covered. But it doesn't matter, you can use whichever one you want because in the end, you can see on the back of mine, I ended up putting another piece of um, tin foil to cover over all my mess. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your string or your wool, whatever you're using. I even considered using um, uh, twist ties because I had those so what it, it doesn't really matter as long as it's something string or um, even elastic would work so um, I would if I had a glue stick I would just put glue all over the front of this right now so if you want to do that glue it I don't have a glue stick like I said so instead I'm just going to tape it in the back like this then you want to just take your string and put it all around or your elastic whatever you're using put it all around in any direction that you want to it can be symmetrical or it can be asymmetrical so it could be like a star or it can be see mine is just sort of all over the place so you can totally decide how you want to do that. Now, if you have glue on this, that's gonna be sticking down, which is gonna be so helpful. I don't have glue, so mine is not sticking down. I'm gonna do maybe like that, and then I have a nice little piece left in the middle. Now, I'm gonna turn it over, and because, again, I don't have the glue, I'm going to just tape mine down in the back. If you had glue, it'd be sticking down in the front, and then you could even glue it in the back if you need it to. I'm just gluing up my edges all around here, just so that this doesn't move on me. Okay, now I want it, I think like this. So 
Now you can cut your string, leave enough to bring it around the back, and then you can either glue it down or tape it down. Okay, I think I'm good to go. I don't think these are gonna move too much on me now. That one looks like it might a little. So if it was glued again, it would be fine. Since it's not, I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape right back there. Okay, so you want it to be kind of uh, nice and, and not, not loose, pretty taut, okay? Um, the next thing I did was I went ahead and made a hole somewhere in it. So if you had um, a hole punch, you could do this at the end. I don't have a hole punch here at home. So I'm just taking a pen and I'm putting a hole in it. There we go. See that? Right in it. Okay. And I'm going to kind of fold that bits of cardboard back in the back there. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we're just going to cover it with tin foil. So get my foil wrap and I'm going to want to use the really shiny side. There's usually two sides. One is a little more matte and one is quite shiny. I want to use the shiny side. I'm going to put my bigger circle tracer down and I'm going to trace around that. So I have a nice big circle and you might not be able to see that circle too well, but it's okay. You're going to make your own and then I'm going to cut out that circle. I'm not going to worry if I go outside the lines a little because this is going to get folded over to the back anyway. I'm just going to try to make a good size circle here. Doesn't have to be exact. All right. Now, the fun part. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it down over the top of our ornament. Oh, you can already see some stuff starting to come through. Gently, because we don't want it to poke all the way through. You, If you have glue on here, it's gonna start sticking to your glue, which is so awesome. Push it down and kind of crease those spots where the string is, okay? Try to get them nice and pushed down so that you can really see that string. Now yours will be sticking with glue and then we just start folding it over to the back, okay? Like so. This part is great because you don't need to have glue on the back because this just folds right over. It's like little, little tin. There. Now I have it done. I want to push again and make sure I have all my little shapes there. If you push too hard, you end up, I did that with this one, if you see really close right here. I don't know if you can tell. See my string came right through right there, but I'm not worrying about it because it still looks so cool. All right. That is done. Now, look at the back. You can leave it like that if you want to. I think it looks messy. I'm just gonna cut out another circle that's not as big, and I'm not gonna worry too much. Look how I'm cutting. I'm not even worrying too much about the shape of it. I'm just gonna put it right down on top. I would glue that down if I had glue. Did you know I didn't have glue? I keep saying it. I love glue sticks. All right, so I would just glue that down. Um, I'm gonna tape it. I'm gonna use tape rings and I'm gonna tape it down. Just so it looks really nice on the back. So if you're hanging it and it um, starts to turn around, the back will look good too, okay? There, pretend it's taped. All right, now, I need to find where my hole was. There it is, right there. I'm gonna punch my hole through there. There. So that's where I'm gonna put my string to hold it. There, okay. Now this, 
You can leave it just like this and hang it if you want to. Or you can use some paints or markers on it. Um, I had a feeling, I had the feeling that I wanted to try some um, shoe polish. But I couldn't find any. But if you put like shoe polish on it all over and then wipe it off and then it would just stay in these areas where it's where it's kind of relief. But um, this one I didn't use black marker on. I just went ahead and painted it. And then I put a little tie on the top. Um, this one I'm going to try. I have a Sharpie. So I'm going to try outlining it with my Sharpie. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Being really careful because there's still a little bit of air under there and I don't want to put a hole through it if I can help it. If you do put a hole through it, like I did, just keep going. It's still going to be cool. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of looking neat. So you can do this or you can paint it the way I painted my other one. Or you can paint it and do this. Maybe I'll Let's see what it looks like. We sometimes we don't want to ruin our work when we think it's good, but we want to try something else. We're like, oh, I don't know if I should do it or not. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to try outlining this one. Then you'll have an idea what it looks like. And then if you want to, you can. I'm going to outline it in the black. That does look kind of cool. This was paint. Oh, it feels kind of dry. This was the only... This is acrylic paint sticks that I had, the same as I used for the last lesson. I didn't have anything better at home, but that's all right. Oops, I'm a little wobbly there. There we go. I'm going to go around. Then you can see if it's something you want to do. You can judge by mine. Here we go. There. And I have a little, I guess on this one, I don't have anything in the middle. I'll make a little thing there. There, that looks pretty cool, outlined. All right, so you can do it the way you want to. I'm just going to show you how to put the string on. Now, um, I take a pretty long piece of string. And look how long. It's pretty long. And then I fold it in half. It's not going to be this long when it's done. I'm going to cut some off, but I just like to have lots to work with. So fold it in half and down here in your folded end, you're going to stick that through this hole. Okay. And my hole is pretty little here, but I think I can pull it through. Yep. I got it. Pull it through. So it's about halfway through. Now I'm going to take my two open ends, my two pieces like this, and I'm going to put them right through that loop. Okay, see how I did that? And then pull it. Now you have a nice little knot on there. And what this does is it keeps it more flat. Um, if you had it just looped going through, you could do that. But then it's going to lay more this way. But with this, it'll lay more flat. Then I'm just going to take a good section of it up here and I'm going to tie it in a knot. You decide how long you want it and then I'm going to cut some off it. I made it nice and long uh, to start with because I want it to be able to have a lot to hold on to to, um, to tie that knot. You don't want to have a tiny little thing on the end. So that is your beautiful little ornament that can catch the light. Let's see if you can see it catching the light here. Uh, 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 wait, wait, like get where you are. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Have fun with it. Enjoy and wait for my next video. Bye.